Hello everyone and welcome to Science for Today. Lately we've been talking about how do things move and today we're going to be particularly looking at force and what, that, what role that plays in how things move. Generally, as we, as we see things and as things are, things like to be still and things will stay still or not move until there is a force that's put on them, whether that be a push, a pull, a jump, a roll, a spin, whatever that force is to make it move. And similarly, things will continue moving until there is a force put on it to make it stop. Usually things are stopped by the force that we know as gravity. Now, gravity keeps us on the ground, it keeps all the buildings on the ground, it keeps everything pulled towards the middle of the earth, okay? Now, that's not the only thing that makes things stop, but it's, it's probably the, the main thing that makes things stop because if there wasn't any gravity, everything would just keep moving, okay? Now today, as a bit of an experiment, we're going to be making ourselves a catapult, okay? Now there are a lot of different varieties and variations of catapults that you will be able to make. It's very simple. Oh, it can be as complicated as you like. Um, it's one of the more interesting ways to have a hands-on experience of force and the action and reaction um, that is science. So uh, you'll need a couple of things to make your catapults. You'll need some icy pole sticks, okay? You'll need about 10 or so, depending on which, which design you'd like to go with. So you'll need icy pole sticks, you'll need a few rubber bands, okay? And, uh, and that's actually it if you wanna make it really simply. Some other things that you can use if you have them are things like plastic spoons, Okay, or, and or PVA glue or some sort of other glue to hold your sticks together, okay? So uh, have fun and I'll be showing you how you can make one of your designs of the catapults but you can uh, have a look through all the pictures and see which one you would like to use and then you get to test it out. Have fun. Have fun everyone. Okay, so I'm here to demonstrate for you the simplest, easiest catapult that you, that, well, that I've uh, that I've found that you can make using icy pole sticks, some rubber bands, and a plastic spoon. If you don't have a plastic spoon, you don't necessarily need one. You can find other things to attach to your catapult. Um, it's pretty much just so something can sit in the spoon and then be flung in the direction that you would like it to be flung, fling, fling, flung. Anyway, so first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to attach our spoon to an icy pole stick. Okay, now it's easiest to do this at this point because later on it gets very tricky and trying to reach around it and everything is, is a bit difficult. So this is really good for fine motor as well. So twist and Find. Obviously, I need a bit of fine motor support, uh, and then so you've made a stick and spoon all attached in one. Okay. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take one more icy pole stick, and you're then going to attach it to your first one right at the very end. Okay. Wind, 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 wind. Reasonably tight, but the main thing you want is this sort of action here, okay? So you've got one stick here joined to the other one and then joined, bound uh, with, with the, the rubber band and then it comes up here to join onto the spoon, okay? Now to get the right sort of force and the right pressure, then you're going to make a or an array or however you would like to call it a 
group of sticks standing on top of each other like this. I've got five in this group. That's a pretty good number. Okay, And you're going to join them all together in one pile. Okay, So there's one side. We'll attach the other side as well. So just like that. Now with this, you're then going to slide it straight in, okay, in between. So you'll open this one up a little bit, okay. So you'll open this one up a little bit so that you've got like a V. And this one here, oh, the rubber bands are playing tricks with me. This one here will just slide straight in underneath here, okay? And it will look a whole lot like that, okay? Now, it is a little bit tricky to keep the icy pole sticks together, so you'll just have to anchor it with your fingers, okay? And now you've made yourself a catapult, okay? So you can see that there's, for, there's pressure um, on all of these ones and if you're anchoring it here with your fingers, you'll be able to use your catapult for fling things. So, what have I got here? Oh, got a little cloud. Thank you, Bonesy. Uh, I've got a little MAB block here. Okay, a single unit. And you'll be able to put pressure on to the spoon to weigh it down. So you're putting, you're putting a force down and the spoon's going to be want, wanting to be looking at being balanced, okay? So it's going to be pushing back to try and be balanced, okay? Because here, where it is now is very balanced for the spoon and for the whole, um, for the whole catapult. So by pushing down, you're creating energy and you're creating a force okay and then being very careful you'll be able to test out your catapult amazing <laughs> so you'll be able to see whether you're aiming straight what you can fling here's a little bit of here's a little bit of fluff you can see what your catapult can fling the furthest or the most accurately because catapults were made to be made to be used to send things from one place to another very accurately or as accurately as possible so it's good to be able to go the furthest but if you can make it very accurate then your catapult would be the winner okay so you've got and so there you have a very easy, hands-on example of force. And this is the very simple version of a catapult that you can make. Uh, I've attached a few different pictures of different kinds of catapults if you want to challenge yourself, okay? If you would like to make this one a little bit more stable, you can always add some PVA glue to your pile of sticks in here so that it won't slide around okay and you won't have to use your fingers to anchor it while you while you send your forces somewhere else okay uh, so that's about it have fun I'd love it. I can't wait to see what you come up with whether you try the simple version or whether you try and challenge yourself with making something bigger, who knows, you might be able to make yourself something enormous. You might have somebody you know who can get you the, the right materials at a much bigger scale to what we're making here, but this is something, this is something fun that you can try and uh, make sure you're being careful when you're, when you're using it and when you're making it, okay? Uh, but it should be lots of fun and uh, can't wait to see what you come up with. Thanks everyone, bye.